I believe we have a responsibility to our students and to our communities to provide high quality civic education for every child. This includes learning about our nation's past, all of it, and providing meaningful, authentic opportunities for students to engage in civics, not just learn about it. Providing high quality civic education is patriotic. We want our children to not only vote, but to develop critical thinking skills, use multiple reputable sources, and engage in civil discourse. My job is to teach you how to think, not what to think. Right. I need to teach you how to look at policies. This is where one side's coming from. This is where another side's coming from. What are the commonalities? Where is their middle ground? Why do people think this way? Why do people think that way? And it's kind of that idea that everyone in politics thinks they're right. And that's what's hard is the left thinks they're right, the right thinks they're right. And so everyone is wrong or right, but it's, or it's, or where, what can you take from them and what can you take from here to craft real policy? For the sake of our students and our country, I call on legislators nationwide to support comprehensive civics education. As one of our students said, now I take a great interest in my local government. I now know that if we want change, we shouldn't wait for an adult to fix it. We need to speak up, use our voices, and take action. That, that civics, uh, while we need more of it in the classroom, it's too important to leave solely in the classrooms. Every experience we have where we're collaborating, where we're conversing to try to build some sort of common good is an exercise in civics. Uh, and it is incredibly important for us all to do that um, variegated work with as much you know vigor and vision as we can possibly summon. Our job as teachers, first and foremost, is to make them citizens. I think civics is an easy sell. We just can't be afraid to step up and sell it for what it is. It's imperative for our future. I hope that every civics teacher understands the importance of experiential learning and getting our students to practice those skills so that when our democracy needs them to be a part of it, that they'll be ready. Look, if we pull this thread all the way through and we have generation after generation of kids who are now citizens who don't see any responsibility in participating in their government, don't necessarily see the value of democracy and haven't been taught civics, what does that mean for the country long term? Authoritarianism. During one of our nation's darkest hours, President Franklin Roosevelt told us that democracy cannot succeed unless those who express their choice are prepared to choose wisely. The real safeguard of democracy, therefore, is education. I am so happy to be on the front lines preparing our next generation to choose wisely.